welcome. I popped out a little early because that's just how I am. <laughs> just popped on a little early. So hopefully we can all catch up here shortly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Did everybody who's here with us right now actually see that crazy, not crazy, like crazy, wonderful and powerful um, meditation? Hi, Andrea. That uh, Angel of Divine did that I shared and it went like crazy viral. It was like over 600, my hair, over 600,000, uh, what was it, 600,000 views on TikTok. I hope you guys have all actually seen that um, meditation. I'm going to be doing a live tonight with her. And we're going to interview her. We're going to ask her questions. We're going to find out who she is. We're going to find out why she does what she does. I know a lot of people had questions about what language was she speaking. We're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to have you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the positive love. We love that. And then I'm going to allow. Uh, it's such a powerful meditation because it really helps you to release any um harmful energy i guess or you know just hey what's up radiant tarot girl i know my girl's here she literally just tried to facetime me because i was like i had asked her i was like do you want to help me get ready for the live um because i was going to shoot some questions past her uh and then we're going to be doing something fun stuff we're going to do rapid fire questions as well with her where i'm going to ask her some fun things like what their favorite crystal what her her favorite crystal is you know you know cool stuff you know just get to know another incredibly beautiful energy that's in our community who blessed so many of us with such a powerful meditation that has helped i mean hundreds of thousands of people you know i think what was cool for me is I found that meditation maybe two years ago randomly when I was in a very like dark night of the soul type place in in one of my journeys <laughs> you know what I mean or many awakenings that we've all had many of these ascensions that we all have you know because we definitely have more than one <laughs> ain't that the truth and you know it just was huge for me um and then I just recently the night before that I was you know I posted it I saw it again. It just happened to show up in my, my newsfeed, this great meditation. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to share it tomorrow. And so I did. And I was never expecting for it to just take off like that. So let's see if she's online. Cause I think it's about nine 30. Hope we can find her. Okay. Which one? Is it 9.30? Almost. we got two more minutes. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. You know, I've had dreams like that. And sometimes those dreams are just, it's almost educational for you. To remind you that you have access to that. You can, you know, prayer is what? A spell in its own way. Don't feel kind of, oh, I forgot to put my bracelets on. Oh, well. Um. It's just, it's a spell even, you know, the Bible in its own right is a huge book of spells. If you think about it, don't get caught up in religion so much guys. Don't get caught up in religion so much. Get caught up with your connection with your spirituality. How do I, how do I charm my hair? Okay. That's a simple thing to do. Um, here's the thing guys, I feel for you. Hey, I feel for you because I do feel like witch talk and spiritual talk has really, oh, I love you, girl. Go get some rest. Um, they make it seem like it's so much harder than it is. It's not that hard. You can literally just charm your hair by choosing to co color it black. Black is a very protective color. Uh, just by asking your, your departed loved ones, your angels, your guardians, to, you know, please, you know, invoke or charm my hair to protect me. Boom. And so it is, or amen, whatever your power phrase at the end of your incantation, your prayer, whatever you want to call it. It's it's really that simple. I feel for you because my heart really aches for all of you who are newer to this path, who have been made to feel like you don't have any power. And that's what upsets me. What upsets me about the spiritual community here on most social medias, TikTok, Instagram, you know, Facebook, it makes so many of you believe that you're not powerful and that you've got to get this power from 
some outside source. You know, the magic's right here, guys. The magic is right inside of all of us. We all have it. You know, this crystal is a beautiful, powerful thing. This is selenite and it's great for cleansing. But without you putting your energy or your intention into it, it's really not going to do that much. It's going to do something, but not to the same degree or level of energy than when you're in control of it because your magic is then put into this vessel that then you're creating this spell this energy movement this energy work i don't hate it being it used to bother me a lot you know how witchiness has become popular i think it's really wonderful that so many people are wanting to learn so much more about themselves and they want to really kind of have more control over their lives. Uh, what I don't like is that people feel kind of like <sighs> buy my spell bottle. You know, people are always judging everyone else and, you know, and it's like, but then they, they plug their Etsy shop and it, it's, it's gross. It's really gross. I think it's really, really gross. You know, I just do. Um, I love teaching. I love guiding. I mean, I don't have an Etsy shop. Do I make spell jars? All the time. Do I tell you where to get everything? Yeah, I do. Do I show you how easy it is for you to cleanse your energy without using anything? Yeah, I do. I say all the time, go to YouTube. There's plenty of sound frequencies that are that are free. And, and just like this meditation, it was free. Completely free, guys. You know, not to say that you shouldn't invest in things you love like I love crystals I mean I love me some crystals don't get me wrong they're they're pretty and they're beautiful and they're very effective tools but without I'm fine without them too I am just like you are um it's sad and I think I even got caught up in it recently I felt like this this urge to really just sort of protect myself and I did need to protect myself I, I don't know if any of you noticed I have completely taken all of those videos off my TikTok I want nothing to do with it I don't want anything to because this person isn't going to get the message they're unwell they're mentally unwell and I'm not going to be bullying someone who has clear mental health issues hey Maria welcome so let's see if she's online there she is. I'm going to invite her right now. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. We were just chit-chatting. I was letting you. everybody know how I found you. Um, okay. And I, I'll... How did you... So I would say about two years ago, I was going through probably like my hundredth. Does everybody have their water? You know how I am about that. I'm glad you said something. Because every, yeah. or not said them, you were drinking and it reminded me, I always get on them to, to drink their water. Um, and <laughs> they know I'm like really bossy. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the Philly in me. So basic, <laughs> so they're all laughing at me. Sorry. Um, I was in another one of my, you know, dark shadow moments, you know what I mean? Where we're processing, en you know, en energy. And it was kind of like, I was stuck. I hadn't been listening to my intuition. You know, I wasn't doing the things I needed. You know how, like, when you get really low, you stop doing all the things that make you feel good? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I find all of my best things at, like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning because life. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and there you were, how... and it fucking worked. And I was yeah. like, holy shit. And I've been using it, you know, off and on for years. And then yeah. I hadn't used it in a while. And the night before I posted it, it just popped up in my newsfeed because, you know, that's how spirit works. Yeah, and yeah. Spirit was like, post this. And I was like, okay, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. Heather had no idea who I was before this, guys. And I had no idea who Heather was. This is all just, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so nice to meet you and, and to meet everybody on here. And I was never even intending on making a TikTok, uh, like social media platform at all. Like I was just like, no, that's okay. <laughs> And it, here it comes. It's just like, oh, when you're meant to be somewhere or do something, it's just like, oh, you need to follow through with certain advice. And, you know, and you called me, you called me here. <laughs> Listen, I, I have surrendered to the sometimes it's just math. 
and yeah. there's no explanation behind it or no reason. Mm-hmm. You just do what you do. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Well, I mean, I must say, like, you know, thank you so much. And I appreciate you and all of your, you know, your good vibes. You're so lively and you have all this like thank you. really cool content. Yeah. It's like you're so creative. It's it's really nice to I'm see. a hot mess and I just embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. So yeah, whatever questions I'm oh, we're here gonna have fun. For, yeah, it, it's um yeah, go ahead and, and I'm, I'm well, we're gonna have fun. You guys make sure you you everybody show her all the love because I was just a vehicle. I was just, you know, put it out there, but all that that beauty and all that healing energy came from her. And and it's so <laughs> important for me. Uh you guys know how I am, you know, like let's 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 give credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? It's I mean <laughs> Thank you. I have done nothing but stress that everybody knows how I am. Um, I think within the spiritual community, you know, Heather is a person of color and we're going to just, we're not going to avoid the elephant in the room. We're going to fucking dive right in. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm very white passing. So I completely understand that I tend to get a bigger audience. That's just the way it is. So yeah. I've taken it as a responsibility because it is a responsibility to do the right thing. And we we appreciate that, you know, and it's, it it, it was a big topic, you know, last year, and it is something that's very dear to my heart is, you know, and it's something that raises a lot of passion and and anger and and frustration and a lot of things, you know, I, I, because of my background and, you know, my family being, my ancestors being colonized, and it was, it's a lot of ancestral healing, a lot of tough healing. I've gone through it and I've done the work and I continue to do the work and I continue to be an advocate for my lineage and, you know, my lineage, I'm, I'm a mixed lineage, uh, but I am, you know, native, the Indian in me is native to, to Turtle Island and all of it, basically, like I have a little bit of European in me, um, but, <laughs> but that's about it. Like it's, it's I've got about um, 10% native in me. And yeah, yeah. Uh, those spirits, when you're actually on the land, yeah, are strong, and they're powerful. And they pretty much pushed a lot of my other spirits out of the way recently. Yeah. So there was no way around it. <laughs> it was yeah. like, no, no, boo, boo. I I can actually connect with my, my uh, Lipin Apache. So yeah. Yeah. Apache as well. My bloodlines, Apache and Tarahumara and Jalisco, which is wow. like from, yeah. That's yeah. a mix. I don't know. A lot of you understand the history of a lot of the indigenous tribes you know, the Apaches were quite fierce and not so nice, mm-hmm. very nomadic. Yep. And yep. to to understand, and I'm just going to touch this because we're getting off topic, is is um, mm-hmm. a lot of her other lineage were not by choice. So we're talking about a ton of ancestors who were colonized, not just by Europeans, but by their tribes. So that's a lot of pain, and a lot of energy that she's had to heal. And that just goes to show how damn powerful this lady is. So let's all yeah. love and respect. Okay, let's get started though. Um, Thank you, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, we have a lot of, I don't really actually openly talk about my indigenous connections on purpose yeah. because yeah. it's not my, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you know, but you know, I do come with that medicine and it's something that I, like I walk the path of the medicine wheel so that's my path as a medicine woman oh, yeah. and a whole yeah so it's it's gonna come with my frequency to to be honored and to to recognize that you know when when engaging with, i'm just the, with- i'm just the, the platform i figured it out yeah <laughs> i'm just the vehicle the delivery service i'm, I'm well, thank amazon you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, it, it's re- it's really respected from i'm from- not it's, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so mm-hmm. just I'm, I'm gonna just tell us a little bit about. Uh, I mean, you have, but you know, yeah. let everybody know where you're where you're based and what you do every day. You know. Yeah, great. Uh, I I am I live in Bakersfield, California. Uh, what I do every day, I'm a mother. So first and foremost, I'm a mother. I have a 17 year old daughter. Um, 
I do, like I mentioned, I, I am very dedicated to my path. So I am daily watching the sunrise, daily offering tobacco to the land. I'm, I'm doing this. This is part of my, my, my path. You know, it's part of my assignment as an earth keeper, as a guardian, and as who I am, as what I'm meant to do and how to, to, to keep the land and to work with the sacred waters. We have some local waters here that I work with. I pray with them at least once a week. I try to get out there. Um, I am a spiritual mentor as I take on clients as need be and work with them one-on-one. -on -one. I also am a light language facilitator. So I work with groups of women, mainly women, and some men are in there, but we do light language groups. We work together to help clear the collective. So we're clearing collective consciousness, we're clearing densities, we're clearing dark energies in a very psychic way. So we tune in psychically together. Um, I do that once a month with a rose group, union group. We work with like a twin flame templating. Um, I also hold one myself once a month. So I, I clear it like collectively in that sense. So I'm doing kind of, it's, it's large scale work. Oh I, yeah. I, She's the one that's yeah. made it possible for so many of you to uh, have your twin flame back just so you know pretty much yeah it's it's <laughs> very she's the it, one it, that kind of pops in and clears all the energy almost think of it like an uncrossing spell but like on a grand it's, you know yeah it's on yeah. grand cell like so there's like grid points we make sure certain grid points in the earth are cleansed and clear and they're open for energies to enter through um so we're doing a lot of high integral work you know i i also i i I sit um, in certain sacred circles with in ceremony. Um, so those are very special to me. I sit in certain special sacred lands, um, sit in um, with um, Machika and Azteca traditions. So we're sitting in Tomascal. It's similar to a Native American sweat lodge, but it's more of a Mexican tradition. Um, well, so Mexican I, is, is indigenous, guys. Understand that. Yeah. It was just, it was indigenous to that part of the land. And there was just a border that was put there, but they were indigenous people. Yes, definitely. Thank you. And um, yeah, so I work with sacred medicines. I, I am a medicine woman. I keep lots of different beautiful medicines with me. Um, and I clear, if someone comes with, to me in person, I help clear them. And um, also, yeah, I do hair as a creative outlet on the side. So You're I so work cute. in a I love, She's like, oh, and I, and on top of saving the world, I do hair. <laughs> <laughs> it I helps it. ground me. It helps ground me. I love it. Oh, it's working. important. Well, yeah, that's healing so, work in its own right. I love it. You know, it's so great. So I work in a salon about two, twice a week. And um, the rest, I'm, I'm traveling and I'm working in sacred circles. I host cacao gatherings. Um, do you so what's a what's a cacao gathering cacao. for us? For us, you know, very pale, complected people. <laughs> um, cacao is a it's a medicine drink. It's a chocolate drink. Oh, duh, cacao. <laughs> yeah, cacao. <laughs> I told you, cacao. hot man. Yeah, so um, it's native tradition and uh, Mayan tradition. So basically taught by, by Mayan elders and then you're taught how to facilitate a cacao share basically. So go into a circle and I, I share the medicine of cacao. My ancestors used it as currency um, to trade uh, and, and money. So it's considered like liquid gold, uh, food from the gods. Um, it's a very beautiful sacred medicine to work with. It's it's just, it's such a nice, yes, abuelo cacao. Um, and it, it is, it's a grandmother medicine. It's a heart medicine. It helps open to the heart and people just to kind of journey while they're with the medicine. It's, it's really neat. So, um, and even when you're like just on a one-on-one -on -one call with me, I can, I tune in and I shift some people's vibrations to the point where they feel like they're on medicine just by talking to me. It's like we step into a whole different realm and I'm able to guide them, open them up, help facilitate certain energy so they can receive the answers that they need and clearings that they need on the level that they're at. I can, I can say that that's true. 
because mm -hmm. she and I were just messaging, you know, behind the scenes when all of this was blowing up. And I am so like anti a lot of stuff. You guys know how I am. I'm very black and white. I'm very logical, very skeptical, very, you know, in my head. I have a lot of air energy. And um, <laughs> the moment she and I started connecting, just very brief interaction, guys. We're talking, you know, just little lines back and forth, just our energy connecting. All of a sudden, I'm having like my my Lyra Starseed family like reach out to me and I'm just like, um, hello, I wasn't ready for all this. <laughs> like, I was, <laughs> see, my collective will tell you I'm very content. I'm freaking so happy. Like I yeah. live the life I, my, my, I'm living part, like my, you know how when we manifest and we build our lives and we're happy, we're settled. And I'm in that process of transformation where I'm now dreaming bigger and, but yeah. I'm good. Like I'm content. I'm, <laughs> and so every time spirit pushes me to another place, I, I, I do it kicking and screaming. <laughs> right 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 it's um yeah it's 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 not easy you know when you are open up when I was born like very much like aware and awake you know we my my house that I grew up on as a child it was on an Indian graveyard so it was very much active it was on sacred land my mom would come into my room smell the tobacco I had a, a you know my native ancestors smoking tobacco prayers on me while I was sleeping so it was just like my room smelled like tobacco she thought I was smoking cigarettes and I'm like no that, that's that's not what it is we knew it wasn't what it was but you know still my parents were a little frightened for me we were colonized so I did grow up in the Catholic tradition and um and then like my ancestors were just so strong my whole life and just like guiding me through ways there was times where I shut things off I think we all did just kind of shut off that like I don't want to see this I don't want to know this and um and then just like you know it just came it just came it's it's in my blood so it was just like at that time we're going to give you the test that you need at the times you need it I went through heck I lived moved at this one apartment where it was like portals and crazy entities and crazy stuff so that was like my training ground and it was like we're gonna train you to to do this and I was like all right and I, I just went with it and talked to certain spirits and yeah so it was, it's pretty much where I'm at yeah <laughs> it, it was it was no, it was tough, you know, it was a really, really tough time. And I had very little support at the time. I didn't know what was going on. I just trusted my instincts and my grandmother on the other side and just really just work with it. And then after a while, the teachers came, you know, I, I was introduced, thank God, to some great grandmothers and elders and just them like telling me like, you know, well, this is the path and your ancestors taught me a lot about my different ancestors. And, you know, so there's there's a lot going on, a lot of ancestral healing. Um, I do teach about womb healing, which is so important to me, connecting the womb to the moon. And that heals a lot with the ancestral lineage line. So a lot of the, like, the entities, the attachments, and all this type of stuff, it, it, it swarms from a different array of, of places right so it could be from like a belief system you have from a run-in you had with somebody else and it's just kind of came to you to get crossed over or some type of thing happened like that or um, also it's just time for you to elevate and clear a certain genetic bloodline and so it's like it it's like all this density and all these like entities and all these programmings are coming up and it may take form as a certain entity and then clearing that so once you like up level there's like another layer oh here's this and i have this stuff to clear and i'm i'm going to work on this template and clearing this template off so it's it's very intricate and in how it's like woven because it it is a it's it's a training ground. It's who are the ones that are going to step up? Who are our warriors? Who are the ones that are really going to take this initiative and allow this up leveling to happen within consciousness? Because we are bringing in the new earth. We're bringing in the sacred geometries that are coming in. 
and it requires a pure and clear state within the mental, physical, and emotional body. The DNA is being activated within all these stellar gateways. Um, we have, you know, all kinds of medicine, men, women, sending prayers out and just all of this stuff, just, you know, continuing to, to transcend us. And it's a lot of help, but at the same time, you have to have the capacity to clear to clear that. So most of our, um, the collective, right, functions at the lower base chakras, root chakra, sacral chakra. This is a sex chakra. All the songs that are out there are based on these lower half of the chakras. So they're stuck on the lower half. And we want this to come up to the heart, to the throat and the third eye. When you have a clear a sacral chakra, you got a clear third eye. You're able to see things. You're able to clear things. When it's first opening, if it's not so clear, you're going to run into these densities. You're going to run into entities. You're going to run into really scary energies until that's clear. So depending on your mission, um, you're going to be assigned, if you will, uh, a certain group of clearing, like of, okay, this is this clearing here and this is this attachment here and I have to learn how to clear that out, stand in my sovereignty and um, be able to hold the light, anchor that in without being shook in, you know, so it's just like really bringing that in without um, in, in, in grace, you know, but in, in a stance that is saying like, I'm, I'm owning my shit and I'm not letting anything go. Yeah. It's your inner power. Yeah, right. Um, I always, I, they call me the basic witch for a reason, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so what you all described, I'm going to tell you exactly how I tell my collective. We call it locking and loading. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the locking in is when you, you know, you root, you root to the earth. The problem is most spiritualists, most meditation guides, most, you know, whatever, all they talk about is you rooting. Yeah. That's not balance that's that's stagnant that's being stuck that's rooting into the ground and so what we talk about what we're teaching is you you lock you lock in but then you load source and that's about right. you know kind of bringing both those energies together and meeting around you know in your solar and, and finding your mm -hmm. center finding your your heart space just all in that beautiful area and just right. clearing your entire body out by connecting to both and finding your center right. mm -hmm. and we call it locking and loading but you know lock. we go we, all right guys let's lock and load because I just try to keep it basic because uh, I think my collective, we suffer from a lot of ADHD. We're all moms. We're all like, you know, just trying to keep it together, you know, right. but we do understand that we're in this place where like what you were talking about is yeah, either level up or you're going to get left behind. Yeah. It's yeah. really that simple. It's, and it's not to scare people. It's not to scare. It's yeah. just, this is the fact that because, look at it like an opportunity. Right, right, right. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's a very sacred path. And, and it's, um, you know, I, I've came into contact with a few of like newbies, you know, there's a lot of it's, it's this, it's a little bit more popular right now to be spiritual and to be on this path to crystals and readings and all that stuff. So it's like, it's being like, exposed, right, which is great, because consciousness is ready for the next phase of teachings and teachers to step up Absolutely. and and so you know with that it, there is a great responsibility because all of these collectives is in a very delicate place and we want to make sure that they're not being what my group calls it as harvested Girl, you don't just, want just your, say it just say it my collective yeah. can take it you can be as brutally honest as you want <laughs> yeah you don't want to be like um harvested so meaning that your energy your beautiful sacred energy being harvested for any twisted agenda that is going to cause reversals in the collective like so we want give them an example um okay. how would you give that an example and thank you everybody who's who's coming in there's a lot of people in and out welcome welcome this yeah. is angel of divine she uh is okay. the creator of that amazing um meditation that i put out that just went crazy crazy viral and I wanted to give her space to to really introduce herself to the TikTok community because I just think she's great and she's wonderful and her energy is legit. Um, and she's just helped so many people. And, you know, I, I want her to get the credit, 
but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. back to you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we were talking about, um, oh, being the harvested. So yeah, give, us, give us a nice example, like break it down so that, you know, you, you do have a lot of people in both. I don't know how many you have on your side, but I have almost 40. Um, okay. Where it's like, who are at that, in, that place right now where they're opening up? And so they're looking for guidance. And so they're really easily, it's easy for them to become harvested. Yeah, right. So it's like, there's different like types of every month. Oh, we'll start with this. Every month we have a moon cycle. So if we look at the moon cycle in itself, we're going through a full moon and then it's, it's all the way it, it wanes and waxes and it goes to the new moon. And so we're, these are the cycles, cycles within cycles. And so within just one month alone, we're going through different energies and densities yep. and consciousnesses and everything. So after a certain, like, say you've got your new moon and then about a few days after the moon, there is a certain weighing of energy here. So there's like a swell of energy. A lot of the collective energy because of these gateways and how the moon works in general, because it's an intelligence of its own how the moon works in itself, it's gonna, we're, we're cleansing consciousness, we're cleansing the subconscious. So any undealt with crap, it's gonna be exposed. Hence, if you have crazy dreams around that time of the month, you know, this is the reason why. So unfortunately, we live in, in a polarity a type of, our, in our world right now. So it's like we have the the dark and we have the light so we have this polarity happening so if you're not aware enough they, they're gonna siphon that energy so harvested means siphoning or removing or taking the energy without someone being naive and not knowing their spiritual rights so if you don't know your spiritual rights you need to understand that you have spiritual rights as a sovereign sacred being of creator a source creator um, if you do not state that, um, if you're not aware of that, uh, these energies can use it and manipulate those type of energies. And this happens through the frequencies of phone waves, um, th through the night. This is a lot of the reasons why we're waking up like three or four o'clock in the morning. This is prayer time. If you're waking up at that time, do your prayers, do your mantras, protect your subconscious because that those are the times that are... Mm -hmm. Those are the weak times, right? You're vulnerable. So, you're asleep. You're vulnerable. Right. It's like, it's right. Like that. Exactly. So those are the times we want to make sure that our subconscious is being secured, right? So if you're a, a good meditator and you know how to navigate these things, great. If you need some help, then you need some help. And you, it's okay to admit it. So reach out for some help. Um, and, you know, doing the right kind of mantras, doing the right type of meditations and correcting anything that is being siphoned off. So, I'm going to just pause you for a second because sovereignty, I think everybody mm -hmm. says it is a buzzword. I want to break it down really, really fast. Okay. Yeah. Sovereignty is as simple as, as, as difficult as it sounds. It's both simple yet difficult in the sense where mm -hmm. it means you have your own right to protect yourself, but also think about us, all states, all countries are sovereign. They have their own right to protect themselves, right? That means that nobody's mm -hmm. allowed to come into their, their country and take their resources or anything like that without their permission. We right. as, you know, humans, as spiritual beings, all separately have sovereignty. And that's why right. if you guys saw me recently, I had stitched, um, he was another healer. And he was like, well, how, he was asking the collective, how do you deal with attachments? And I was like, honestly, I just tell them, hey, I know the rules here. We can do this yeah. the hard way or we can do it the easy way. It's really that, mm -hmm. it, it is that simple. I mean, it's going to be under pressure in the moment of things, but if you stick to your guns and you remind everybody of the spiritual rules, because there are rules. Right. Have faith in those rules, hold on to those rules. And don't fall victim to the harvesting even of the fear. Because that's what's going on yeah. here. You're 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 getting harvested in your own right because you're you're going through TikTok or you know Instagram or wherever, and you're being made to be afraid of everything when yeah. there's no reason to. 
No, there's no reason to be scared of anything. And you'll notice, like, um, there was a time where I was just waking up at that time and I was getting this, like, little panic attacks. And I'm like, there's nothing for me to be scared of or, like, worried about why is my body, my whole nervous system was starting to react. This was right before COVID happened. And so I was feeling the collective mm. about to go into this fear state. And, Same. You know, I remember that. That was, I couldn't. Yeah. Ooh, that was hard. I was like constantly in salt baths. It was, it was really difficult. Really tough, really, really tough, especially for those that hold a certain frequency. And so we're just trying to navigate through those, mm -hmm. those realms. And then, you know, that these energies are swelling up and the nervous system was taking its toll. So I, I, you know, got out my, my toolbox that I like to use and, and some of my go-to stuff too. And, um, and I, I do my work. So it, it does take a lot of work. It does take a lot of patience with yourself. And also knowing that there is no other power greater than source creator. Whatever name you want to give source creator, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. It, it's we all come from from the one from the one I am that I am. So it, it is making sure that you're knowing this as as a rightful being and then, you know, stepping into that. Um, but it is going to look different for everybody. You know, it does take some washing of the emotions for some. If you are coming from a tough bloodline that you have a lot of ancestral energies to clear, you're going to feel that. You're going to feel those densities. You're going to feel all of that moving. Just to, you know? to answer someone here, mm -hmm. in the um, they're like, uh, talk about how tired they are. Whatever they feel is attached to them, it says, they say, right. it doesn't want to go. Well, I'm going to just remind yeah. you, like what we were just saying, and I, and I know Heather here will 100% agree with me. It doesn't have a choice. It doesn't. It has no choice. So it's it just it has no choice. If you know, I, I, I back to like a vampiric energies and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they will. If you let them, they will. So if you have a weak spot, you got to know your weak spots. It's OK. We all have some weak spots like everyone. And so know your weak spots. Hey, this is my weak spot. I, I got to check this. I got to maintain this. I got to, you know, know that notice that this is here and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. But it doesn't, if it's not of love, you have to bid it on its way. If you're not of love, I bid you on your way. If, you know, and it's just staying the same that you're, you're stating your, your rights as a sovereign being. If you're not of love, I bid you on your way. It has no power. Nothing has any power over if, you. If you struggle with that, you can even say things if you're not for my highest good. Right. Right. You know, do things, say, say the things that feel right for you at that time, because you'll have strength in that. If something right. doesn't feel comfortable rolling off your tongue because you feel like you're faking it, then try something different. And yeah, boundaries. Thank you, Sierra. Uh, this is the hardest thing mm -hmm. for any of us empaths to actually learn, yet alone think we're worthy of having. But this is this is ascension. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. And it's like if you do have a hard time setting boundaries, just be honest with people. Just tell the truth. All boundaries are is being truthful and honest. Yeah. It there is not really a difficult. Oh, I need to set boundaries. It's no, it's just be honest mm -hmm. with somebody. If you don't like something, tell them. If someone's like treating you a certain way, hey, I don't like that. No, cut yeah. that out. You know, it's it's just being blunt and being honest. And you don't have to worry about hurting anyone's feelings. Your true friends will always be there. And if yeah. they, you got a clean closet, you got to clean stuff out, then you have to clean it out and allow those new beings, those new friends to enter in because they will be worth it. It will all be worth it. I always use this metaphor. If you have a cup and you visualize it's full of black sludge, all of the past, mm -hmm. all the yucky stuff that no longer serves you, but it's here, it's full. That's you. And you know, source comes along or your angels come along or deities come along, whoever comes along and they have another cup, but it's full of blessings. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And they go to pour it into your cup. That's full those blessings are going to flow right over the side. There's nowhere for them to go. And right. so what happens is a lot of you, when you're going through your awakening, which I always talk about it being, you know, you becoming so self-aware, what mm -hmm. happens is this, 
you become isolated, right? You're like, oh, I lost all these friends. Oh, I'm so alone. It's crazy. I've removed all this. Well, yeah. But then you know yeah. what the beautiful thing is? As you start to have boundaries, as you start to respect yourself, as you start to have value within yourself, you start to call in these beautiful friends who care about you, that you can voice right. your opinion. Just like what Heather was saying. It's like, they're not going to care. They're going to be like, oh, whoa, I don't, I didn't want to upset you. I'm, my bad. Let me re let me, let me figure this out. Let me see how mm -hmm. we can communicate better so that I don't hurt you because they give a shit. Right. Yeah, exactly. And that's the beautiful thing about it, you know, and, and everyone's path is so different and it's so unique. It is so different. And so a lot of the symptoms that, um, people go through, you know, the tiredness, it is part of it. it. It is part of the awakening process. Um, some of that stuff, you're not, it's not always an entity. It's not always that thing going on, you know, so not to scare everybody. It's, it is, there's a process happening and it can look or feel like it's something that's attacking you sometimes. And it's not always that right so we want to make sure and make things very clear and very simple because our spirituality should be simple basic you know it should be simplistic that is the most healing the most genuine the most realness that you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna secrete the nectar out of the sovereignty you're gonna secrete the nectar out of your life the the in a very simplistic way the more simple the better you are gonna thrive they know i love that <laughs> they know yeah. i'm all about simplicity and normalizing magic and normalizing spirituality and making it accessible to everyone because right. it, it, it's, it's meant to be accessible to everyone you know tonight right. i was feeling low i wasn't feeling myself a little bit so i put pink on because pink is about love it's about self-love yeah. Great. I, I have my um, rose quartz right here. So exactly. Yeah. And that's even how I teach crystals. I was like, you know, crystals, it's it's overwhelming in its own right. Generally start with the ba basic Bettys. You know, you know that pink is for love, rose quartz. Right. You know that black is for protection, you know, obsidian, black tourmaline. You guys, simplicity in another way, it makes it more powerful because you don't have all of these moving parts that you're trying to like control. Like mm -hmm. it's literally like herding cats. Like literally. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It, yeah. And then, you know, if, if, even to go even more simplistic, if you don't understand crystals or you, that's not your vibe, nope. you could no, just no. work with plain dirt, earth, mm -hmm. plain air, a feather, water. Yeah. And... I went viral because for another one, I go viral from time to time um, because I really love black river rocks. And right. one of my clients who is, gosh, what is her tribe? She's from the Pacific Northwest and she okay. would always have these black river rocks. And she was like, black river rocks are for protection. And I was like, well, of course mm -hmm. they are. That makes so much sense. You know? Yeah. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. And it's just like the simple things like that, you know, it's, it's working with the elements yeah. is very key for us. It's very healing for, for the soul, for getting in the body of water, live running water that comes from the mother you know that is the most healing that you can give yourself oh, yeah sending prayers out to the water um you know that's that's so gratitude um, is the most powerful yeah, my, spell my, in the world yeah so any grandmother any elder that has taught me you know they've always teach me how to res just respect and praying for the elements especially and for each other brothers and sisters in the collective we want what's best for each other and if you've never received it from somebody it's really hard to um to get through those woundings to get through those triggers but you will get through it oh, somebody yeah. some friend someone will not give up on you and even if you give up on you there will be somebody that won't you may not see them yet but in the future they will be there that's why I love my, my collective. I preach to them and they, they never let me down. You know, we'll yeah. have moments like this and, and they're doing it now um, uh -huh. where it's like, they know I'm busy or whatever is going on and I can't with everybody, but everybody right. just jumps in. Yeah. yeah everybody just so like we, we, the whole, you know, don't leave anybody behind. 
that's right. the whole mentality. It's like, you know, if they're out there and they're asking questions and they're trying to invest in themselves, we, we, we believe wholeheartedly in our, in our collective. And, and I, and I'm not a gatekeeper and everybody thinks it's crazy because TikTok is all about like holding on to it. And I'm like, seriously, you know, I don't care. Y'all get up in there. You give your tips, your tricks, what worked for you. You know, what are right. you learning? Whatever. I'm like, this is, you know, all hands on deck. We're all good. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. That's why yeah. people look at me and I'm like, y'all don't get it. I want to see everybody win. Right. And of course we do. We want to see everybody win. And the thing is, you know, we know that the f- in the future, uh, it, we will get past all of mm-hmm. this. It's not going to be easy. And that's why we're rallying the troops. This is why we're coming together. This is why certain teachings have to be taught right now. And certain collectives have to know these tips. They have to know their strengths. They got to know what's out there. They got to know the realness about the spirituality. And it is, it is, it's not easy, you know, it's, it's definitely not easy. It's not an easy path, but it's totally worth it. Always trust your insto- insto- intuition, guys. Y'all are yeah. so on point. I don't, I, I don't care. Like, even if you think maybe something I said doesn't resonate with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's mm-hmm. fine. I'm not going to be upset about it. Always follow your intuition. You know, even when you're scrolling on, on, on any of the social medias, if the energy doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. Don't force it. Yeah, exactly. And th- that's a really important, you know, topic or, or hit to, to point on. If it doesn't feel right, it's not for you and that's okay. And if somebody says something, if I say something, anybody says something that's not for you, we're not meant to completely agree with everybody. Like we're not made that way. It's, it's, it's within consciousness as, our, as we're growing because we're coming into an Aquarian age. Aquarian age is about collective consciousness. It's about us working together, creating a community. And we're, you're not going to agree with everybody. You're going to come with, you should have the capacity in your orc field to be able to attract people of all kinds of different races, colors, and, and different thinking grounds. Like if they think a whole different way from you, you should be able to be like, wow, you are so amazing. And I love your processing. I love how you see like this. It's, it's totally different for me. And I don't see it that way, but it's It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So it's it's just literally art. Right. Right. And, And this is how, this is where we're growing into, you know, it's, we're growing into this beauty. We're seeing the beauty in each other and, and we're, we're amplifying that out within the collective. The more we do that with each other, the more we're sending this out because through vibration, sound, and our, our voices, our words, we're sending that out to the whole collective. Absolutely. So they're able to catch on. So you guys like the power of word, the power of your energy, it's amplified. And we're, we're sending this out through time, space, and dimension. We are all time travelers rather you know it or not, we're working multidimensionally. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to be necessarily aware of that yet. But when in due time, you will have access to realms. You will oh, have access yeah. Understand that. Please, like, listen to what mm-hmm. she's saying. Like, this is really yeah. valuable stuff, guys. Like, we all have access to all the same stuff. And it will, and it yeah. will all come exactly when you need it. Yeah, it, it will come. And because you, you know, somewhere in you, your great grandmother's prayers, they're there and you're writing on those. <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised and, how, the, how long those prayers last. Yeah. You know? And yes, I, I can, we can see comments, you know, we can yeah. see your comments. We're just, you guys, we're vibing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I always post these, you can go and I, I'll show you how to do it later, but um, you can always post these later. Uh, you can download your live replays and we can post these up to YouTube too for anybody to watch it later, which is great. Cool. Because I yeah, know people, I you know, we're all, we're all spread out, man. And it's like, it's hard for everybody to get on there. I, I, we're going to do something fun though really quick. And then I thought it would be cool. Um, we could bounce back and forth and answer questions like either side. Yeah. Yeah. comes. I don't know how crazy your side is, but I see, I think I can tell, I know people pop back and forth. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. just, it's fun stuff. I can tell- checking yours and mine out. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right now, so we're gonna anyway. do 
fun, rapid fire questions. So it has okay. to be the very first thing that pops into your head. Yeah. I don't want you to overthink it. I don't even want you to over explain it. Okay. I just want it to be like, boom, 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 because it's good for the brain, right? It's good right. for the brain. So what is your favorite crystal? Labradorite. Love it. Okay. Weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. Um, it doesn't even have to be like crazy weird. Just you don't like it or whatever. Weirdest thing. Uh, I caught probably, it off guard. Yeah. That, that one's like, I love food. That's why I'm like, I love, <laughs> um, I'm just a weird eater anyways. Like okay. I liked, um, I like a lot of vinegar with my food. Okay, so, it doesn't mean you don't like it. It's yeah. just weird. So you like vinegar. It's just weird. It's just okay. weird. I, I... Favorite season? Oh, my brother's on here. He's a pickle sandwich with peanut butter. <laughs> Is that weird. your thing? He made me try it. No, he made me try it. Oh, was it good? <laughs> no. <this is> good <laughs> I hate pickles. So, I mean, I'm, all, I'm already like, ooh. No, he was just being weird. Brothers. <laughs> Favorite season? Fall. Same. That's a yeah. mood. Yeah. Okay. Best compliment you've ever received? And that I'm powerful. That's a great compliment. Okay. Yeah. Most unique compliment you've ever gotten? Unique compliment. Uh, that my eyes were large. Like, really <laughs> I don't large. even know what that means, but okay, yeah. Okay. I'd be like, yeah. Ah. Something about my eyes being extremely large. <laughs> Favorite dessert? I don't know why they but spirit must have known you love food because everything like I always do these random ahead of time and it was like all food, I love food. <laughs> yeah I love food uh any chocolate I like chocolate um my favorite dessert what is my favorite dessert I have one um <laughs> I like like cheesecakes Ooh. I like to make, like um like vanilla cakes like homemade cakes Yum. with like vanilla custard. okay so ice cream or cake then which one do you prefer yeah ice cream or cake yeah okay cool <laughs> all right sunrise or sunset sunrise okay favorite color purple okay the last time you cried today good or bad good okay good all right that's really it i just thought they'd be fun <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go i'm like a complete goofball and i have fun with it um if you could ask Source one question, per, like directly, what would you ask Source? I ask them all the time questions. Um, I you just know what say I mean? you, you would get that first, like, and you would get that answer clear directly back to you. There would be no like interpretations. What would be the one question that you would really, really want to know? Then you would ask Source, and you'd get that absolute direct, you know, solid answer. Solid answer would be how long am I going to live? Really? Yeah. Damn. Like in this physical body. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. See, I'd probably ask Source, am I done re reincarnating yet? Ah, that's cool. Because I just want to chill. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a guide already. Well, I mean... I already know I've been doing this a lot for a long time. I'm no mm -hmm. new soul. That's obvious. But, right, right. you know, like, am I winning at this? Am I doing good, Source? Like, am I almost there? You know, I, I don't know if it's the Virgo moon in me, but it's just like, well, how am I, how, what, what grade am I getting, Source? Like, how am I doing? <laughs> what is your, what's your sun sign? Uh, cancer. Cancer. Okay. So your moon, your, your moon's Virgo. Yeah. And you're rising. Uh, Leo. Oh, wow. Mm. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I love my mix. I think it's a great mix. It keeps me, uh, yeah. it keeps me wild in, in, in me. <laughs> cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of my mix. That's really yeah. all the questions I have for you. But, you know, does anybody have questions here in the collective? If you want to grab some from your side, that's yeah, cool. And then we go back and forth. More food questions. I love food. Yeah. You like food. But I, I think mm. a lot of people might have questions. Like, they might have one help for all we know. I know how that goes. <laughs> want a recipe. 
a spirit recipe. <laughs> oh, do you, do you cook with your ancestors? I mean, I think I don't even think I crack open a, 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 any recipe book, cookbooks or anything. I have no cookbook. It's just we just cook. Yeah, you yeah, cook with your mom, ancestors. Yeah, my mom has. A, we have handed down recipes from my grandmother, and um, I just kind of naturally make really good beans. <laughs> so, Same. Yeah. <laughs> my ex-husband was was well. He is. He still is Mexican. Um, <laughs> and they would always jokingly, my ex-mother-in-law, who was very unhealed, uh, uh -huh. took great offense that I made better beans than her. Right. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's just, it's that extra juicy energy. That's why too. Okay. Someone, they want to know my sun, moon and rising. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a Libra sun, a Scorpio moon and a Scorpio rising. Ooh. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> that's torturous for you though right that's like super torturous you know like libra guys are all about you know the balance justice but then you have the scorpio emotions behind it all that's a lot mm -hmm. and then you're yeah. rising too wow yeah yeah that's a so task in its own right <laughs> it is well, and well, you should. Most of my chart, I have. I'm pretty balanced between those two signs. Okay. I, I have a lot of plants in both of those signs. You know what? I have a lot of Gemini, and I'm married to Gemini. Oh wow, wow, that's interesting. That's yeah. great. Gemini are, are really nice. My brother, that he's on here right now. He he's a Gemini. They're crazy. <laughs> They're fun. <laughs> oh no, they're entertaining. They're fun. My husband. Oh no, this is this is gonna be. My husband is like the macho macho guy. Complete opposite uh -huh. of me. You know, total yin and yang. That's why it works. That's twin flame for you guys. Um, he he. Twenty two <laughs> years in the army. Did seven deployments. Like he's a literal war hero. This wow. man would always give me so much crap when we first started dating because oh you're 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 crappy cancer, crappy cancer. The, uh -huh. the, the, the punchlines, everything. So, oh, really? Let's see. What time? What, of course, we always ask, what time were you born? I don't know. Go get your, go, go get your birth certificate. This man <laughs> who, oh, Gemini, you're crap. Gemini, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising. Wow. Whoa. But that's good because he likes the family lockdown too. So that's Oh, he don't go thing. nowhere. Yeah. He likes that family. That's Oh, best. yeah. He's, he's the best, best. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Is Johnny your brother? No, Gabe. My brother, his name is, his handle is Hello Gabe Fellow. Is his, his name Gabriel. Gabe? It's Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's my brother's name. No way. I swear to God. <laughs> do you have any brothers do you have? I have one brother. His name's Gabriel. Okay. I have two brothers, Michael and Gabriel. My son's middle name is Gabriel, too. <laughs> Your son's middle name is Gabriel? Yeah. Owen Gabriel. Yeah. yeah. It's a great name. Oh, it's he, a great name. But that's like really weird. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> but that's how it always is. It's like, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Wait, you're a pa Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's just that how, it, how everything comes together. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They say Archangel names. Yeah. And my dad's name is um, Michael Angel. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's a great name. Yeah. What are some what are the, some of the best things a witch can do for self love? Um, let's 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 open that up a little bit more. Let's let's what can a woman, a powerful goddess creator, do for self love? Yeah. Because that's yeah. what we really are. Uh, understand that the reason why I call myself a witch, and this is always I'm like I'm not really a witch, guys. I play one on TV. It's a joke. <laughs> I I do practice witchcraft. But it's much okay. deeper that for me. I've I've ascended mm -hmm. past witch a long time ago. When right. I first started on this path of of spirituality, you know, it started mm -hmm. with I mean, and no no offense to anybody, this is just my opinion, my path. Witchcraft to me is beginner level. It is. Right. It really is. Yeah. You know, there's really understand that I claimed witch because it was a derogatory term that was given to powerful women. And mm -hmm. I made a conscious decision to claim it back. Right. That's really all that it came down for me. Uh, Raven, awesome. you, you missed a, a really important conversation we had. Uh, she's doing mm -hmm. a lot of root chakra work. And what Heather and I were talking about earlier, 
how you don't want to do too much lower chakra work because you become very stuck. It's always right. about balance, girl. Or I always get your pronoun. I'm so old. I'm 40. And I'm trying to like roll with the new pronouns. I love you to death, Jay. Um, I apologize. I'm so sorry. But I will say this. When you do your root, I want you to also connect with your crown at the same time. You know what I mean? Really yeah, slow it all I, over. It's like running the energy. Yeah. The Kundalini energy. So you're going to bring it from the root all the way to your to your crown and try to run that energy. Yes. Um, you want that energy yeah. always flowing. Don't, yeah, don't get stuck with the whole thing, you know? It is yeah. really important. Um, I really suggest for for my my by my babies, you know, really mm -hmm. maybe look into an Archangel Metatron uh, mm -hmm. meditation. I think it's such a great visualization to learn mm -hmm. how to use that Merkaba and yeah, actually guide great. it up and down. Your, yeah, the 12D shield is 12D such shielding a... is everything. That's a basic yes. tool that everybody has to perfect. It will immediately activate your Merkaba or Merkaba. And mm -hmm. it will also activate your earth star chakra, your soul chakra. And this mm -hmm. will give you such beautiful, healing, loving energy. Yeah. It was literally, when I was first introduced to 12D shielding, I was like five years ago. It was an absolute game changer for me. Right. Right. Because that talks about the whole uh, sacred geometry. It's like that it, basic, you know, sacred geometry for dummies. That's how I was calling it. It's so bad. Right. It's so true. Uh, 12D as in dimension. Look up 12D shielding. There's an old, old school meditation on there that's like five minutes long, but it works. You yeah, guys. She, she, that's a very uh, helpful recommendation. Remember, guys, it's not, you don't need to do these eight hour meditations. Yeah, exactly. And I even posted one on my um, my TikTok today. It was just very short, three minutes. After the nice little, um, very easy. You guys make sure you all follow her because she does. This this is. You saw how powerful her meditation was, and it was under ten minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah. It's not. It's about quality, guys. Not about quantity all the time. Yeah, and it's it's short, it's quick, it's just like a very powerful little um, bomb. So, yeah, I have a couple questions on my side. So, one is, <clears throat> how did you connect to your in intuitive abilities? Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, so I, I feel we are, all, everyone's intuitive. We're all intuitive. Mm -hmm. Either you, you, you recognized for it or you're not. It's just... Don't let the mind make you think you're not intuitive because you're intuitive. My brother is super, super empathic and intuitive that he doesn't even have to practice anything. It's just, he's just there. So most people are there. They just don't really recognize it. You know what it really um, is? It's trust. Yeah, it is. It's just trust. It's like, I know I'm always going to be where I need to be when I need to be there. Um, even before I started like dabbling and, and really amplifying my spiritual abilities, um, I was always very intuitive, in tune. I could pick up on people and just know. I just knew. So that's like clear cognitive um, within the psychic ability. A lot of it's these are beginners. You'd have to kind of really start like what the clairs are, but we don't have all the time for that. We can do that in no, another have, life. But. Uh, what yeah, are you good at? Ask yourself what you're good at. What are you really good at doing? And then expand right. on that. You know, I, we, we always jokingly call it, you know, I call it the psychic gym or the intuitive gym, you know, where it's like the best way to do it is to use it. That's what's right. going to build it. Exactly. And there was, um, you know, I, I had a few people that were looking on my website and they were looking at different meditations to, to tune into. And they were um, interested in like the angel wing. And I have a lot of different meditations on there guys that are they're great. And they're really, you, you, you purchase them and then she gives you a private link. Um, so make sure you go over to her page and check all her inform information out. But these are they're yeah. really good. And you have, you should use your in intuition on which ones to get. So it's just like, just trust the ones that you are like, well, should I, 
which one this one or this one it's probably both they're very reasonably priced yeah they start um, at about five dollars um for like mm -hmm. a one good 10 minute meditation it's very very thorough or you can buy systems where you know they're like 12 to more where no it's 22 days right yeah, I have one for 22 right. days. Um, and that's yeah, like your so most expensive one. But that's, you're, you're buying an entire system of meditation. You're just buying an entire system. Yeah, yeah. I, and I have different ones. And then to work with me on one-on-one, -on -one, it's, you know, it's an investment. So Girl, we, um, we don't, you don't need you don't need to apologize or we, <laughs> we see they people don't they get it they understand yeah. that the TikTok information we're we're blessing them is all free but they do understand yeah. that we 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 have gotten to a point in our journeys where our energy is very sacred to us and yeah. um there we we go to psychic university or healer university in our own right and we invest in ourselves in our own right um yeah. that our energy and our time is valuable. You know, you spend yeah. the majority of your day working on yourself to make sure you're in a certain place so that you can do the work that you do. That's an investment. Exactly. Yeah, and it they, is an investment. They understand that. Yeah, and it's not just like a regular session. It's a teaching. I'm giving mm -hmm. teaching and I'm giving lessons. I'm giving tips, tools. You're getting a bunch of blessings and gifts just from a session, one session. Even from a recording, there's so many oh, yeah. uh, downloads on that. Um, yeah, so it's 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 a lot of work. It is a lot of work, and I I've put in the work, and so and it shows. It shows. Oh, in, no one's in questioning that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one's questioning that, and 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 understand. You know, the more you invest in yourself, whether it's with teaching, whether it's you know, understand that everything is available to you, and don't feel like just because you can't invest in a, an entire one-on-one -on -one session with somebody doesn't mean that you don't have access to a lot of knowledge. Right. Okay. So don't feel down if you can't buy a, a session one-on-one, -on -one. there's plenty of stuff that is free and just, you just have to look for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look for it. It's all out there. I have tons of stuff on my, she really does, on my yeah. YouTube. There's, I teach about, there's so many stuff. It's four years worth of teachings on there. Yeah. So, and it's free. So it's, it's, trust me, it's just, you know, because we invest so much time in ourselves, mm -hmm. like I don't drink, but very rarely, right. or I don't yeah. smoke weed and I don't do all these other things. I've given up all of those things on purpose so I can keep my vibration in a certain place so that I can do the work I do. You know, I was right. speaking with a friend of mine the other day and we had a conversation and this is personal preference guys. We're not telling you like, like we were talking about, like, you know, before, um, everybody's journey is different. I just know that if I'm heavy marijuana smoker, I'm not as good at my job. Right. That's just me. Right. I'm just not good at it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, my frequency is too low. Um, if I smoke cigarettes, same thing. So I've had to cut all of that out to do what I do. Right. So mm -hmm. understand with all of the investments that we've made in our in ourselves and the, the, and where we, the expectations and, you know, where we keep ourselves as an investment for us. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it is a, um, it's an investment. It's very sacred. It is a very sacred path. And, you know, I sit, I am a ceremony, I sit in ceremony on a very regular basis and all of the work that I do in ceremony, it's just, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of work and, you know, working with the collective as well. So yeah, it's, it's constant meditations, spiritual, about it's just everything. It's just, it's energy. It takes yeah. time. It yeah. Just a lot of, yeah, definitely. Um, so I have another question here and somebody wants to know if I could speak a little bit more on my heritage, specifically Jalisco traditions, um, and spirituality, my family's from there and I don't see, okay. So yeah. One quick thing I am going to cover about like about learning about your heritage, because I do feel that it is very important to oh, yeah. um, address that and for people to find out what it is, uh, what the traditions are. So Jalisco in general, I don't necessarily know. I can't say like these are the traditions of, a, of Jalisco because I don't I don't know. I got linked into Machica and Azteca and Mayan traditions. All of this is from the, the Yucatan area. So 
for me, I feel my ancestors have linked me in into a very secure place. And the teachings that I received from Machika, Azteca, and, and um, Mayan technologies and Scientologies and, and the, the, the stars and all that, it, it is sufficient enough that it is the root, basically, of whatever Jalisco is. So it's, it is providing me with enough and plenty of ancestral wisdom and knowledge and experiences that I'm able to carry my ancestors and the healing that is needed, required for them to to move forward. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so, break it down for them a little bit because yeah. they don't not all of them speak the same language that you and I speak. Right. And so I've gotten really good at sort of just like you know making it um, mainstream. She, what she's yeah. what she's saying is this is she's beyond that. And she's saying it in a very right. loving way. She doesn't yeah. just do Jalisco. She's she's more ancient than that. And she has dove farther back than that to the roots of even where a lot of, you know, many tribes came from. You know, they're ancestral. Mm -hmm. That's what she's talking about. So if you were to think even older than just the Jalisco traditions in the last few hundred years, she's talking about ancient traditions thousands of years ago. That's where she links into Right, right. And those are the those are the teachings that I link into. So they're very ancient tradition teachings. And it is an ancient earth keeper. So I'm known as an ancient earth keeper um, in a lot of different ways. So we're bringing in the technologies and the intelligence and the teachings of what we need to uh, produce this new earth what we need to carry and anchor in the Aquarian age, which is about unity consciousness. So we're, we're here as one and, and creating this. So it is important to, if you can, if you have access to learning the teachings of that tradition, um, if you're drawn to it or whatever it is that you're guided to, and then kind of make it your own, you know, that's what's, what's kind of, beautiful I, though. And I think a lot of people don't realize is there's going to be a whole lot more documented information about farther back than just yeah. Jalisco traditions, because oh, yeah. unfortunately yeah. most tribes, you know, were, were erased. Let's be honest. Right. And that's yeah. the issue. So this is, she's giving you an opportunity to gift. Don't feel bad. She's giving you an access point or a place to move directions toward that is still you. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, just so you know, when you walk the path of, of a sacred path, so we're walking the path, we're all yeah. walking this path, we're walking on our sacred mother, we're walking on the earth. This is your path. And you got to trust wherever you're guided and those teachings that you're receiving. And it all stems down into higher consciousness. Is it, isn't it incredible how when she speaks, it really, you do really feel like spirits talking directly to you. Yeah, because it is. You, you know what I mean? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, relate with my collective real quick, um, and right. then we're gonna wrap it up because I know everybody's got it going, and we can always yeah. do this again, guys. You know, it was a good evening. Um, is we're all going through it right now energetically. Understand that there's a lot of releasing going on because we just had a full moon. You know, mm -hmm. when she was talking about moon cycles earlier, uh, it's real. Moon cycles are about a lot of, you know collective release, personal release. And me personally, you know, when, when, when Heather's thing went completely viral and I'm just like, it wasn't me, I'm just whatever. You know, I had to really um, sit in my imposter syndrome and be like, girl, you may not have made that, but you were the one that brought it to everyone. And that's, that's beauty in its own right. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was very obvious that spirit was like, girl, this is just telling me right now, girl, you are Amazon for spirituality. You are meant to deliver it to the masses and that's mm -hmm. okay. Because we we do all have a have a purpose, and it's always so funny to me because I hate being in the limelight, and it's always, you know, that's <laughs> what spirit too. does. That's what spirit <laughs> does, and spirit's like, ha, 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 ha. here's another test. Right, right. I I love that you mentioned the beauty. I always call my path the beauty way. Oh, cool. And, yeah, so it, it is the beauty way because wherever I go, I try to create that beauty and speak 
in a, in a voice with eloquence and with beauty and to come in and recognize the beauty within everything, nature and the beauty within every human. So it, it is, it's very sacred to me, yes. you know, this path. And um, yeah, they're like, oh, you just speak, just speak, whatever, just talk, continue to talk. <laughs> um, oh, we love it. Thank you guys. Yeah, I, I really appreciate all of the, the love. and this I has have, been... like, the best collective on TikTok, in my opinion. Yeah. I, really, I, I mean I, it. I really mean it. And they know that, and I tell them all the time. I just think we have, I have just the best collective. You know, and you did, you attracted that. So, <clears throat> you know, with that, you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover one topic. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, guys, drink um, your water, man. <laughs> yeah, drink for your water. <clears throat> so with that being said, so Kate, right? It's Kate, Kat or Kate? Kate. 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 Kate has the capacity within her aura because of all of her lifetimes that she's lived. She's had this like ancient quality, right? So it's like this, um, this technology within her aura that she's able to access things. We are all able to access things. But when you're in the presence of someone that runs ancient codes, if you will, you have this capacity to draw things and people into you, blessings and, and st this sort of stuff. A lot of people have to work with this. It's called an auric capacity. It's a technology within science. So this is this means that she has a certain type of genius within her that she is accessing. And this is assisting the collective, her collective, which is a really beautiful blessing. So if we can all unlock this genius and this capacity within your scientific nature, because this is what the new age is coming into. It's very scientific. It's very intelligent. <clears throat> we can see it within our phones and how we are relating and to the certain capacity with each other. So yeah, it, it's, it is, we have this or capacity to relate to multi people on different streams of consciousness this takes a very high quality auric field. It's a, it's um something that I'm still learning to understand myself. You know, right. it's, you know yeah. what I mean? It's nothing. It's and it, I, I take it with with so much gratitude. You guys understand, please. And yeah. they know that. They know how I am. It's like uh, I always jokingly talk about you know the stories where I would cry in bed in my my husband's arms, like make it stop. <laughs> like, I just want to be a mom and da, 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 da. like, it, it, it's a lot guys. And it comes with a lot of responsibilities, but it does come with a lot of blessings. And I'm very grateful for it because it makes it so much easier to deal with. Right. And it does have to be protected. And, you know, it is something to, to maintain, you know, some I, of I my feel for <laughs> anybody, like I really do. It's like, like, it, it's a lonely life. I mean, I know you relate to that because it's yeah. a very, it, it can be, I mean, I love myself. I have, it's why I was gifted my twin flame at 39. It was why I was given certain perks because of, I mean, Heather and I's interaction, very brief, but we already knew what it was when we first connected. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know exactly where this is going. I've already been shown. Right. You know what I mean? I already know that a year from now, you'll probably see me on TV. It is what it is. You know what I mean? And, and, and I'm like terrified of it. I know. <laughs> Just like Heather know that, you know, at any given moment, she was going to get that knock. Like, girl, you're probably, <laughs> here you go. Because that's what our guides tell us. That's what we're shown. And yeah. it's terrifying. Well, yeah, but it's it's having, recognizing the fear, and then you're, you're always going to step into that. And that's what's oh, yeah. really, that's beautiful about that. It's the courage to step into the, what spirit is guiding you as and you have to we all have to understand we are all key players and we're positioned in a certain way to bring in intelligence to bring in a higher capacity of consciousness to bring in what is the truth and how do we carry this forward with sovereignty with grace with ease with victory 
because it does take a victorious energy. It does take a strength within spirit to follow this through and follow those promptings through. And, you know, and you, you, you are able to, to glide through things to able to like the psychic attack, if you will, if that comes, no, that's not coming in. As she glitches, as she says that. (laughs) (laughs) Like who's watching us? Yeah, those aren't going to come in. I'm not going to allow that. Oh, no, they don't come anywhere near me. Yeah, this field. So it's, you know, we have missions and we're here to complete that and, and fulfill that. So, yeah, your your the fact that your your beloved is in your life and you're anchoring in that sweet love, which is so powerful and beautiful on its own. And it, it just shows it glows within a woman. A, a woman who has that capacity, and we have this capacity, this intelligence. It's an intelligence. And every woman and men and man needs to recognize it's an intelligence. We are all born with a certain genius. We're here to access these levels of consciousness. It is for everyone. It's not just for selected few. No. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't think... A girl, what are you? <laughs> My collector's being goofy. They're like, they're like, no offense to you, Kate, but like, I love you, mamas. But she's really, like, you know, like she's a she's the new creator. So they're all like on your side, like you know. Oh wow, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, when have I ever cared? <laughs> like, I've always been like, you know, they they always jokingly say like, girl, you have a hundred thousand followers, and I have two thousand. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, you know, <laughs> none of that I mean, matters. I- but you, you're just following the promptings of it. Yeah. You know, it, it, you're following your, your, your guides, your guidance. Oh, I've like completely your... surrendered. It's obvious, right? Yeah. And it's like, you know, I was telling one of my, um, my mentor. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry. I was t- uh, this is going to make you laugh. Uh, my niece, okay. she's, 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 uh, she's in the chat pine tree. And she goes, these are some fancy words though. And I'm a simple mind. And I'm like, girl, listen, we're that old. When I was a kid, I had an incredible <laughs> vocabulary because my soul is that old. It just, I, yeah. I don't, I, there are words that I will say that I didn't even know I knew. Yeah. And, you know, you may not fully understand what I'm talking about, but on some level. You do. You she will does. Know. She's just being goofy. <laughs> yeah. And, and we are to use our intelligence, uh, um, point blank. You're intelligent. Yeah. Use your intelligence. And We're all incredibly genius in our own right. Yeah. And, and, and that this is the new earth. It's, you know, your phone is not smarter than you. No, it's, it's just, yeah. and that's, that's just a great way to put it. You know, it's just like, you know what? Your crystals are not smarter than you guys. Yeah. Your candles are not smarter than you guys. Yeah. You, I'm going to say like, this is such a great, you know, circle here. You know, you are the magic. Like literally. You can have all the candles in the world or have no candles. I like to use candles and herbs and stuff like that because I like to. And they help me to stay focused on a path. And they're bougie and I'm bougie. So, I mean, it is what it is. But it's you can. It's why I teach Dollar Tree stuff. It's why I teach, you know, I everybody knows I'm obsessed with pine cones. I, from a little girl, I've been obsessed with pine cones. And pine mm-hmm. cones are very protective. And I have them yeah. all over my house. And I just pick them up wherever they go. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I love pine cones too. I, I remember decorating them as a kid with yes. all, all the little ears. Those are fun. Those are really, really fun. Yeah, and and you know, and Kate did ask me to bring it, so I am bringing it. And I'm, I'm, we're, we're shifting in consciousness, Oops. guys. We're right. and really? we're allowed to amplify that. He's being ah. Uh, I have my baby too, but she's locked out. Are you locked out? I can't. There's no door to where my office is. It's upstairs. And so I have, uh, I actually have four big dogs, three pit bulls and an American bulldog and then five cats. Cause my kids are incredibly gifted and empathic. So we just keep them around. I mean, we love them. They're family, you know, for, for, for yeah. protection spiritually and energetically and everything, you know, it's just yeah, mama bear. Animals are very, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So- um 
yeah, anything else or you guys you want to cover or um... we might have to do these more often. I think I think it, there's a need for it. I mean, we'll maybe even just like once a month or whatever, because I'll be honest I'll with you. Yeah. There's not a lot of this in TikTok. It's nice to be asked questions. You know what I mean? Um because I do have a lot of teachings and it is nice to be asked the, the correct questions so I can get the, the teachings yeah. out. And, and we can, we didn't plan too much. Remember guys, this was very unexpected. And I was like, yo, let's do a live. She's busy. We threw it together really quick. I gave her like three questions ahead of time. I don't even know if she got to see them just so she could prepare, but it was more, this was supposed <laughs> to be more like a get to know. And even like, She's she's got to make sure you follow her. She's going to be putting amazing energy out into the collective, uh, much needed, as you all know, much needed. And, you know, we're going to be sharing our, our gifts and our knowledge and, and and allowing you to to embrace whatever you want to embrace. Any advice yeah, on connecting with archangels? Gosh, I really suck at this because it does come so easily to me. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's one thing I really struggle with. Like when people ask me simple questions, like intuition or like, they're just with me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. One thing I, uh, about archangels or any, any type of guides, whatever guide, it doesn't have to be archangel. It could just be, yeah. you know, even a crystal or whatever, yeah. build a connection and build a relationship, yeah. pick one and then start building a relationship with that guide. Yeah, don't be in a rush. And I know on TikTok there's like you see people they have ten different deities. That's that's a lot, guys. That's crazy. That's and that's not sustainable yeah. either. That you're gonna be drained because you're you know the expectations that you put on yourself or whatever. You know, I I've I jokingly call myself uh, Metatron's uh, rebellious daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Because it's literally that's me. Because so I'm constantly getting spiritual spankings from him all the time yeah how cool that's awesome yeah i i like to keep it simple myself um I, of course i love working with the christed energy mm -hmm. mother Mary, you guys all have heard that um i love working with just like like the holy spirit great spirit yeah. um uh, grandmother grandfather creator those are just like my go-to's um and i have a relationship with them so well uh, somebody, well, my, my she goes, I'm not going to lie. Angels are kind of spooky. No, they're not. Your idea of what people are telling you angels are is bullshit. I'm going to just say it. Yeah. I'm going to just yeah, tell you the truth. Yeah. It's complete bullshit. The people that are saying that they're working with angels and they're telling you that they're not nice or they're pushing are lying. They're not working with angels or they're being lied to. They're being manipulated. Yeah. By it's not, it's, it's complete bullshit because I've, I've worked yeah. probably, or I've had experiences with almost every archangel, um, like all of them. And that's bullshit. The, the stuff I see, yeah. oh, Michael's this. I'm like, no, he's not. I've never had a bad encounter with Archangel Michael at all. Uh, if you're working with a true, the Archangel Michael, there, there's imposters. You a know? lot. You, you get like, if just for example, if you ha ever had like, a, I've, I've had stalkers and they've tried to do things and, you, you know, that whatever. That rude. And, Sorry, my cat just like just knocked. That they're trying to, it's okay. They'll try to like manipulate energy or even try to like pretend that they're you, mm -hmm. you know? So just imagine in the spirit world, it's like it, whatever we go through here, it's it's kind of like, it's not exactly the same, it's, but it's, it's close. It's close. It, it, it can be, it's an example of what can be experienced. So if you're not, um, if you don't know those energies and you're scared to play with them, it's just use what's safe for you. You know, use just if it feels uh, good, it's good. If it doesn't yeah. feel good, it's not good. Yeah, it's exactly. really that simple. It is that simple. It really is that simple. You know, if, if you're working what with is, an energy like, that's what are roses, what does that mean? What happened? What do roses mean? Oh, Some they're giving roses. you gifts. Okay, cool. So, so uh, you can go look at your balance later from live gifts, and it's money. Oh, cool! Thank you, Mister <laughs> I mean, Mama. It, it's it's you know you know it's it's not a lot, but it's beautiful. You know, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I mean, there's some very you know they're all monetary. It Doesn't really matter. It's all it's all love. You know, it's all energy. Oh, fun. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I I'm new to this this yeah. whole pop. Oh gosh, I, I can't remember the the first time I ever went live. 
and people were throwing roses and stuff at me. And I'm like, well, oh, that's so cool. What is that? And I'm like, what, what do I do with them? They're like, girl, that's bunny. You're good. I'm like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very different than, than in YouTube. YouTube has um, changed right. a lot. Yeah. TikTok, there's so much potential here. There's so much potential to reach so many people. Uh, and people are uh -huh. so generous. Wow, that's awesome. How cool. That that's really neat. It's it's good to know you guys and I thank you for being so welcoming to me. Isn't um, it surprising? It really means a lot. Yeah, it really does. It means a lot. It's it's nice to be asked questions too. Like um I'm a giver, so I'm a natural giver. Mm -hmm. So as a giver, as a teacher, as someone Yeah, it is like more I, you yeah, so it's really nice. It's nice to. So, to do be people asked. not normally ask you questions over on YouTube, or they can't, or on YouTube, I don't get a lot of questions. I'll just they like to hear me talk. Um, yeah, so they just like to hear. So the cool, me the talk. cool thing about TikTok, well, especially my collective and, and and several other people's collectives too. Like it's not just me. Um, they really want to learn. Like they're they're right. they are, they're they're thirsty. They're hungry for all this great knowledge. Like they really want to learn. Like it's real. Okay. And 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 it's yeah. crazy because. I've gotten some of my best clients from TikTok. I mean, wow. we're talking people who like, I will, even if they don't have one-on-ones with me, where I have seen them completely actually turn their lives around. Wow. Like really, really That's embrace their inner power and they really, really want more. Right. It's incredible right. the turnarounds I've seen just by doing this. Where I have people coming in and they're like, you know what? When I first started following you six months ago and I, I hated myself, I was in a toxic relationship. And, mm -hmm. and then they're telling, they're coming out and they're like, I just got my dream job. I bought a house. Girl, I'm not even exaggerating. It's the most wonderful community in that respect. But wow, as awesome. you know better than anybody else, mm -hmm. that darkness loves that light. And you do have to be very protective on TikTok, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, of but, course. You know, it's uh, something you're not yeah. even worried about, but it's just, it's me. I, I get into mama bear mode and I get so frustrated when I scroll through and I see so much misinformation and I just want to be like, mm -hmm. bring out all the babies and can be like, come on, let's go. <laughs> right. And that's, you know, back that topic is just so important. It's just making sure that everybody is guided in the right direction with, with spirit, you know, because it is such a delicate process, you know. There weren't but many um, of us on here. And that's why I'm like so glad you're here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I mean it. I said, I, my, 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 my collect will, will tell you, we've been very um, alone. Yeah. I mean, you wow. can tell by the energy, just I'm sure by going through TikTok. I can tell. I, like with the recommendations that um, TikTok gives me, I'm like, what in the world is this? <laughs> what is this <laughs> yeah so i do feel like i have a little bit people of people like out there hexing the moon have you heard about that I, I you know what that's where um that's where um harvesting comes from so so they're working with they're working with some reversed energy there so those are called reversals you guys yeah so she, she, she was, yeah. so she's doing all this time trying to clear energies mm -hmm. right and and we clear this and then this some, the some lower yeah. vibrational energy will come in and convince and harvest these baby witches yeah to do so reversal doing... work for what they just did that's what that is yeah their hexes are working it's it's mm -hmm. just you don't understand what's actually going on they're they're undoing so to speak all this great work that people like heather did well, they try. Well, yeah, you know and, what I'm saying. Like that's the goal. I'm yeah, not saying they're always successful. They're attempting. Yeah, they they will be the nameless, faceless days are attempting. Yeah, right now, the know. big thing is they're they've got all these beginner witches trying to hex Allah. Oh what? Allah. Okay. The the oh, the, Muslim, the Muslim the uh, Muslim God. Oh okay. Well. That won't, that, that's going to backfire on them. That's going to be really not nice for them. And I feel bad that they've gotten yeah, any no. idea that that was a good idea. <laughs> With anything like that ever. I adore <laughs> Cat and Boots, actually. Cat and Boots. Uh, Cat and Boots is a creator on here like you. She's a grid clear. She does a lot of really important stuff. Um, Cat and Boots is, is, is the real deal, guys. Cat and Boots is humble. 
she is a light coder like you're like you um I mean, she works, she does some big stuff, like some real earth healing stuff. Uh, Cat and Boots, man, she gave me a compliment yesterday. I was like, yes, I am. That's like getting a compliment from the queen. Like, like literally, like, <laughs> like people think I'm crazy. You know, she, she's in the creator mindset where we are all connected. She's in the, fa in the creator mindset that, you know, we were all even descendants of these gods and goddesses and whatever, you know, the atoms and all that. It's like, mm -hmm. she's, she's a, exactly. Cat and Boots is, is real deal, guys. Like, uh, yeah. who do you think all these big witches go to when their pages get down? They all go to her. <laughs> and that's going back to what I always talk about. That's 5D, 6D, all these higher dimensional magics are so much more powerful than anything 3D down here. Not that 3D isn't effective. Yeah. Not that 3D isn't real. But they don't shine a light on anything up there. Right. So, yeah, I, I usually don't really refer to any like 5Ds or, or. No, I don't either, but it's just that's their language. Yeah. That's what they yeah, understand. Yeah. It is a language to, to, to catch on to. But yeah, it's um, definitely when we're. Y'all caught raising... that, right? I'm going to just say that real quick. Y'all caught that, right? Y'all, you noticed that I never talk 5D or any of those other dimensions or anything like that? You caught that, right? That she goes, I never, I, you caught that. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, in, in the vibratory sense, and there's there's so much work that is being done and many, many prayers that we send out to healers that are on the path. Um, a lot of medicine men, medicine women, that are doing their thing and you know beautiful light workers like us and you know we're all we're all in positions it's a it's a, it's yeah yeah we're all in a, she a, has a, a lot of um scammers cat and boots uh yeah she's she's k-a-t some some will uh pine tree we put that in the comments right one I'll I'll link you up with Cat and Boots. She's she's she, you'd actually she's beautifully eccentric. Okay. You okay. don't like I mean I just adore it. Like you don't I mean you already know how I feel about eccentric people. Like you can read me like a book in that regard because I, yeah. I show it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not something I hide. I just love authentically eccentric, out there wild people. I just love it. Fine. I can't get enough of it. I just think it's amazing. Like yes, do it. <laughs> do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, these talks are, yeah, definitely probably needed more of these. Um, did you guys, does everybody like this jam here? We kind of been all over the place floating around. But, but we, we vibed. That's what we did. Yeah. It's just, see, <laughs> the best, I've always learned about interviews and stuff. Like, it's not about asking questions. It's about dancing together. Right. And I love it. It was so, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. I, I have to end this here, guys, shortly because I'm a mom, too. Just like Heather is here. I'm getting really uh, tired. Am I going to be up early? I mean, I don't even know what time it is. I mean, we were on way longer than I expected, which is amazing. I don't either. Yeah. So that, like that's 11 a good here. sign. So we've been on for about an hour and a half, which is perfect. Yeah. We ended here. Uh, um, I'll show you. I'll talk you through how you can up download yours and uh, upload it to your YouTube. And I'll do the same thing. Uh, make sure you guys all follow Angel of Divine. I mean... You can see, of course, you want to. It's obvious. She's great. We love her. Um, thank you so much thank for you. giving us the opportunity, all of us, to hang out with you. Everyone's saying it was thank an absolute you. pleasure to meet you. Uh, they're all following you, so that's even better. Um, so uh, it was great. I don't know how to end these things ever. Well, yeah, we could just... Um... <laughs> Yeah, well, however, I like, I always like to end in prayer. Let's do that so then. That, all right. Yeah, let, let's go ahead and do that. So it's like we're holding hands, everybody, and just taking a deep breath in and release. And uh, we're just going to thank Great Creator Source for all the love, all the beauty, all the uh, just good vibe energy, this connection, and to continue to bless us with this wealth of beauty, bliss, and harmony. And as we are just oh so welcome in the bounty of the grace and all the gifts that come with living this 
eccentric life. May we continue to create beautiful content for all those who are here and needed and necessary. May the realness shine and our sacred sovereignty be ignited through all time, space, and dimension. And just so much love to um, to you, Kat. I, I just send you oh. a big hug and love and mad respect to all the people that are here gathered. Um, you're, you're here for a reason and, you know, just know you're in good hands. <laughs> we love you guys. It's, it's, it's seriously genuine. I mean, you guys know how I get down. Uh, Heather, you can, you already, you guys feel the vibes. We love it. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. This was great. I think um, for all of us. I think thank we, you for all the food. Friends. I love that's, food. I came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also getting, I, I always joke. I don't, I don't know if how you, if you, if you relate with this or not, but like whenever we do spiritual work or for me personally, I get so dehydrated so like uh -huh. the last, I'm like, God, I went through two of these. I'm like ready to go to Sarah's. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. Yeah. Drinking water is just so much energy. Just, it's definitely. It's amazing. so cleansing yeah. and it just feels so good. I have to be, I'm the yeah. type of to be careful. I don't drink too much. <laughs> like it's so. Right. <laughs> especially in the summer, man. Cause that's a thing guys. Be careful. This will be mm -hmm. up on my YouTube ASAP. I'm sure she'll get their, hers up there as well. Because I think we really did cover a lot of great information and put a lot of in info out there. Um, we did. Yeah, for covered sure. A lot of Love things. you guys. Yeah. Thank you again, Heather. Bye. Everybody have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye.